Hello! In the previous video, we discussed the hindsight bias and the narrative fallacy, two concepts that greatly affect the way we view the role of luck and randomness in everyday situations. As we discussed, we tend to underestimate this role, choosing instead to focus on a person's skill, talent, and hard work, or lack thereof. That's not to say these things don't matter, of course they do. But by better understanding the role of randomness, we can increase the probability of success in our own lives. To continue this discussion, let me ask you a question. Let's say you inherit a large sum of money and you'd like to invest some of it. Because you don't have much experience in investing, you are looking to hire someone to help you. Say there are three fund managers you are choosing between and you look at their returns over the last three years to help you make the best decision. The first person had a return of 5% the first year, 8% the second year, and 3% the third year, which is a decent amount. The second one seems even better with 8%, 7%, and 10%. The last one made 6% the first year, lost 1% the second year, and then made 8% the third year. My question is, which of these three people would you trust with your money? The answer seems fairly obvious, right? You would choose the second person. However, this isn't necessarily a good choice. Here, we are making the same mistake again, trying to explain the past although we don't actually know what really went on. In fact, there have been studies done that show investment managers' previous successes or failures have little correlation with their future investments. In other words, the future returns that we care about in this case are almost independent from the past. There is a great deal of luck and randomness here that we are failing to notice. Finance is one of the areas in life where randomness is a huge factor. Now you might be wondering, what can we do about this? We can clearly see people who are very successful in finance. How can they be explained? Well, suppose there are thousands and thousands of investment managers and their performances are determined solely by tossing a coin, similar to the exams in the previous video. Say each year, each person tosses a coin, and if it lands on heads, he performs well, meaning that he makes more money than the average. And if it lands on tails, he makes less money than the average. Due to the large number of these managers, there will be some people who will make more than the average, that is, they land on heads for many years in a row. Of course, I don't claim that everything is random here, but the point is that randomness plays a larger role than we usually think. This leaves us wondering, how should we invest? In the next video, I'll talk a little bit more about finance, so that we hopefully can get a better understanding on this issue. While we might not be able to provide an easy answer to the question of how we should invest, we can learn some concepts that can help us avoid some costly mistakes. Thank you for watching.